Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing something I've never seen and never done on this channel before. And actually, we're doing something that I've actually never done before. So you guys need to go through this journey with me because I have no clue what I'm doing whatsoever. And I don't even know how it's gonna look. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try it. We are going to be doing passion twist. So I'm gonna go wash my hair and get everything prepped and ready. And then I'll come back and we will go through this together. Hey guys, so my hair is looking a little crazy right now. I have just washed it, deep conditioned. I put some product on my hair, like some cream. I'll show you actually. So before blow drying it, I went in with the I Am Beauty Leave-In Conditioner. I then went in with the Curl and Power Cream Gel. Now, I know I'm not styling it, but I just feel like I had to put something on my hair to protect it. So we now need to separate each part now I've got all the tools, got my tooth, tooth got my tooth comb with the little pointy bit on the end, loads of rubber bands, clips, and I've got two different edge control um, gels. So this is the eco one that I saw used in the majority of the YouTube videos that I watched to try and help me get through this. And then I also got the Cantu Edge and Style Cream as well, just because I've used Cantu products before and it's got shea butter in it, so probably good for us. I'm going to separate my hair. I don't know where to start, don't know what I'm doing, but okay. so I want to leave the back out. I've got a mirror to this side of me, I've got a mirror behind me, and one in front as well. Only reason that I've got one to the side of me is because of my wardrobe, and my wardrobe is mirrored. So it's come quite in handy. Okay, so we've got some progress. I've just shoved all my hair up into a bun, and I'm working section by section. So back here, we've got this bit. Now, I think it's even, let me show you guys. It looks pretty even, maybe. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is probably not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna work with it. We're getting there. Half, I would say the bottom half is done. Now, what I've done is I've just went in, I've sectioned it all off, and I'm using these rubber bands to section each part of my hair, so, the bottom's done, doesn't look like it's done because my hair is so fluffy, but the bottom is done, I just need to do the top. I'll just show you how I've sectioned each part off as well. <laughs> Guys, I don't think my hair has ever looked this well before. It is insane. Okay, I'm literally just on the last bit and I want to show you guys what I've been doing. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see properly, but each bit has been separated. I've tried to do it as neat as possible. I. possible, but for my first time, I feel like I'm doing okay. So, on to the last bit which is this bit here. Let's do the back bit first. Okay, so what I've been doing is taking a strand of hair using my tooth comb, the end of it, the metal bit. And this is gonna be tricky to do. Making sure. So I feel like that's, that's alright. I feel like that looks okay. Then, 
I have been taking the Eco Edge Control and just putting that on the ends on like the top, like where my scalp is, and just putting that where my scalp is. And then underneath all this hair, I get a rubber band. And then I just tie this around. I've just been tying it three times. I don't know how many times you're supposed to tie it. Okay, this is hard work. Two bits left. <sighs> and brief. So that is the main part done. That has literally taken forever. Separating it, I feel like it's just been the longest, it's just been the longest thing. I'm, I'm hoping the next part isn't going to be as difficult, but we shall see. I literally, I don't even know where to start. Do I start at the front? Do I start at the back? Send help. Okay guys, so this side is fully done. This is the length, so they're down to my waist. Now, I have already done this part. It took such a while to get used to and to like get a hang of. I was just like, what am I doing? Like, this is taking forever. It's literally nearly 1 a.m. and I've been doing this since 5 p.m. So it is very time consuming. So far, I am absolutely loving it. I love how it looks. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I've been doing over on this side on this last part that we've got left here so let's get in with it so we have our hair that we separated already at the start now I'm just going to take some edge gel and I'm just going to put that all over that bit of hair here I literally watched so many different tutorials and so many different videos and different ways to do to do different styles and things like that so I've kind of combined what I've seen in other videos um, to do it myself. I will leave a link below of the videos that I did actually use as well um, and the ones that I found the most helpful. We have gelled that down so it's not as puffy and frizzy. So this is the hair that we're using. I didn't actually show the hair at the start, did I? Um, it didn't actually come in a labelled packaging. I just got it on Amazon, but I'll link that below as well. So this is the hair. Now, I have taken two bits, put them together, and I'm just kind of running my fingers through them like this. Now, get our little tool. This is the first time me doing this kind of thing by myself. So this is a braiding tool, I believe. I'll link it below as well. It actually came with the hair which is quite handy. So we have our hair here. Now we are going to put, we're going to get the tool and put it underneath through the hair and we want to go underneath the rubber band so not in front of it under and then we kind of just let it balance and hope for the best while we get our hair and just twist the bit that you're going to put inside that little um notch on the on the the braiding needle and now what i found easiest this flips up on the on the the needle so i've been holding it down putting the hair on, flipping it up, and then bringing it through. Take the needle out. Now what we want to do is take one section of the hair, 
and put it through that loop that that we just got from bringing it through with the needle and then find the other bit of hair tie it together just until it feels comfortable like it doesn't have to be super tight it doesn't really pull super tight anyway but you don't want it to be too tight and get your natural hair So now my natural hair and the braiding hair is together but of course leave two pieces like this and then we just start twisting. I feel like I've got the hang of it a bit more because I've literally done like half my head so the more I've done it the more I've kind of I've gotten a little bit faster and I've got used to it but oh my gosh I am so glad for this to be done first time not last time but it's not something that I'm going to be doing all the time because it's so time consuming I was literally thinking most people in lockdown cut their hair I give myself passion twist. We're just getting to the end of that. Because this is curly hair, when you let go, it kind of pings up a little bit, but it just stays. It doesn't untangle, it doesn't unravel or anything like that. It literally just stays right there. And it leaves a nice little curl at the end as well, which I quite like. Guys, the finishing look. Last night, at like literally after I finished the last one, I turned my camera off, I turned my laptop off, and I was like, I'm going to bed. I cannot do this anymore. I also got these little, ugh, I love these so much. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it adds just like a nice finishing touch to the, to the passion twists. And... I don't know, it just gives it that like glam vibe. I don't know what it is, but I'm loving it. But this is the finishing look. Now, these are quite long. They're literally down to my waist. At first, I thought, you know what? They feel pretty good. I thought they were gonna be heavy, but then the more like I started to finish off, I was like, okay, it's a little bit heavy, but I don't know, I'm loving it. It's something so different. It's something that I've literally never done before. And I actually, I'm, I'm loving how it's turned out. And I love the little gold that I've added. I'll link, um, I got these from Amazon as well. I think I just typed in gold braiding clips or something like that. I'll link them below. But this is the finishing look. Let me know what you guys think. As I say, I have never done something like this before. It's a complete change and a complete difference to something that I would ever do on my hair. So let me know what you guys think of it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful if you are thinking about doing something new with your hair as well. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.